You've been watching my videos long enough to know that I have an English degree. Why do I have an English degree? Because I'm not that great at math and science. And when I was in college, other people were, I was trying to figure out what, you know, what should I major in? What am I going to do kind of thing? And everyone was complaining about term papers. Everyone was complaining about doing presentations and speech class, that sort of thing. And even in elementary school, I love creative writing and no one else seemed to like it. Well, by the time I got to college, I realized just do what's easy for you. Become an English major. Then you don't have to worry about math and science. My plan came together. So with all that being said, I need your help with the math today. It's been about a year and a half since I took my, my heritage DNA test, but I did never let this part really soak in as I have today. Help me sort this out. So through my heritage, keep it in mind in case you're new here, my mom, her mother, Mexican American, a first generation Mexican American, her own parents, came here from Michigan on a train all the way to Buffalo, New York. So half of my mother's DNA came from Mexico. With that being, and you know, my dad is as Northwestern European as you can possibly get. He's done his test. He's through two different companies and you can see those results on my channel. I've posted videos for those, but here's what I've never really thought about. And, and, and as the time has come explain this. So, through my heritage, it shows it's 21.6% Native American. Totally makes sense because my maternal grandma, well, her family was from Mexico. 21.6% Native American. Plus, I'm 31.8% Iberian, Spanish, and or Portuguese, possibly, and or certain parts of France. It's possible, but generically, especially when you know that you're maternal grandmother was of Mexican descent, you're going to naturally think Spain. But either way, let's do the math on that. And I got a calculator. That's how I know the answer because I'm not bad at math. 31.8 plus 21.6 equals 53.4. So more than half of my DNA is reflecting the Mexican side. Now, granted, my, my mother, uh, her father, family came from Italy. He was a first generation Italian American who came from Italy. And according to my mom's test, my mom is what? 15% Sephardic Jewish and 14% West Asian, which is Iran, Iraq, uh, Turkey type area. So it's not like necessarily Spanish or Iberian necessarily came from him necessarily, but either way, you only get half of your DNA from each parent. So knowing that my dad, Took two. He's the only person in our family who took two different DNA tests with two different companies, and they both showed there's no large amount of even Iberian. It was, I mean, we're talking basically modern day England and Scotland and in Germany, but not so much the Iberian. I mean, the Iberian didn't really show up on there. And even if it did, if half of your your DNA comes from each parent, let's say that. Yeah, that, 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 that doesn't add up. It, if in theory, and, and I use all this loosely, in theory, if I'm quote, a quarter Mexican or a quarter Mexican descent, that shouldn't put me at 21.6% Native American and 31.8% Iberian. So 21.6% Native American, 31.8% Iberian. That shouldn't make sense if half of my DNA comes from my mother because there was nothing Iberian or, or Native American about my dad. So this test seems to have exaggerated my mom's results. And of course it didn't show anything Jewish or a Middle Eastern like it did on my, own, my mom's test or my sister's test. So yes, the num if that was, le if that, if I could add those two numbers together, my Native American and, and Iberian together, and it was like 47%, okay, that makes sense. But to be 50, 53.4, that doesn't make sense to me. So I'm asking, I'm recruiting you for your math skills and your science skills. Help this English major figure it out right here in the comments.